In relation to tax deductibility, one area where some people could come unstuck was with the salary sacrifice super. Let's just have a look at how salary sacrifice superannuation works. You can see we've got a starting salary of 100,000. The super guarantee is at 9% of that figure, so $9,000, giving you a total of $109,000. So that's our starting point and our total employment cost. If the employer offers salary sacrifice arrangements, bearing in mind it's voluntary for the employer to offer, voluntary for the employee to take it up, then you could offer salary sacrifice super. In this case, this employee has elected to drop their cash income from $100,000 down to $80,000. So they're going to salary sacrifice $20,000 and place it into superannuation. So obviously the employee is focused on retirement and wants to pour as much money as possible into superannuation. So I guess age 60, retirement age, can walk out the door and then take out the money tax-free. So you can see their gross salary is adjusted from 100,000 down to 80,000, and the $20,000 salary sacrifice into superannuation has been added on to the existing 9,000. So our salary becomes now $80,000 in cash, 29,000 in super, and a total employment cost there of 109,000. So you can see the overall employment cost hasn't changed. All we're doing is just changing the mix between cash and non-cash benefits. But as a result of this arrangement, we've saved PAYG on the salary line of 8,300. Uh, by the way, that's just 20,000 multiplied by the marginal tax rate of 41.5%, so that's the 8.3. But when the money goes into superannuation, don't forget that the tax on super contributions from the employer will be 15%. So we're losing 3,000 on that line. So the overall tax saving there is $5,300 as a result. But had that occurred last year, in the 07 financial year, and if the employee was under the age of 35, only $15,260 would have been tax deductible. The amount over that would not be deductible. We would have been fine, I guess, if the employee was aged 35 to 30, uh, sorry, not 35 to 39, if they were 35 to 49, um, we would have been fine there because the deduction limit was 42. Over 50, again, we would have been fine. But the thing is, from July 07 onwards, it doesn't matter how much goes into superannuation, it'll be tax deductible. However, they have introduced contribution caps that, well, not so much you, but your employee needs to be aware of these caps. So let's have a quick look at them now.